is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Shalom. Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. I love the rarefied air of heaven. And I'm surrounded with it. This air is inside of me. But I have news for you. You are not called to be a spectator. You are not called to just be entertained every Sunday. You are called to be a participant in the last act of the last play of the history of planet Earth. I have two guests that started watching It's Supernatural and got hooked. And today, they're doing the same things, and the people they're teaching are doing the same things that my guests are doing. I was talking to one of them a little bit earlier, and he said, anything I see on your show, God has shown me, I can do. But I'll I'll go a step further. Anything my guests can do, you can do better. Hello, Sid Roth here with Alton uh, Williams. And Pastor, you have a large church. How do I know it? You have 5,000 members in Memphis. I was there uh, uh, speaking at your congregation. Uh, But there was a point in your life where you needed to get in touch with God, yes. you did, and a major miracle happened for your daughter. Tell me about that. My daughter was six months old, Brother Sid, and she contracted a very serious case of atopic dermatitis. And it was a skin disease where she just scratched until she bled. Mm-hmm. Many nights, my wife had to change the sheets because of the blood that was on the bed the night before. We went to doctor after doctor, to the best doctors in Memphis where we are located, and tried some of the best creams and medication. Nothing worked at all. Not one thing worked. And going before God and praying, somebody laid in my hand a book uh, from Kenneth Hagin about healing. And now I'm a Baptist pastor at this time. I'm not right. spirit-filled, don't know anything about it, and, and want to stay in my traditions and nowhere near ready to step out at all in that. And so I began to read the book. But when you're desperate, it's something about when you're desperate, you begin to step outside of your traditions. And um, my, my wife and I were desperate for a miracle for our child. Couldn't understand why she was afflicted or what have you, but I read that book and from there, I went to Ramah uh, and got trained. And then the Lord gave us a word about deliverance. Somebody else, daughter, was going through a similar situation in a book. We read that and went and ministered deliver- deliverance to our child. And one night when she was about three years old, uh, my wife and I ministered deliverance, and we saw boils just begin to break out all over her body. And that was toxin that was coming out of her body. From that night on, she never had the problem with the scratching and the itching again. That was now, our Now, that's our God. But, 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 feel like a motorboat. But, 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 he goes to Rama Bible College. He's filled with the Spirit. He's seen a miracle in his own daughter, but he doesn't see many miracles happen in his congregation with all of that training. Then he starts watching It's Supernatural. Now, if you had seen It's Supernatural maybe five years earlier, what would you have done? You know, I would have, let me go back and give you this. Primarily, I had laid hands on people from what we had been taught 
and I could teach people how to take the word of God and be healed. But that may have been four months, a year down the road, maybe even a couple of years of them just standing and waiting. But after watching It Supernatural and seeing some of the people that you had on your program, and uh, Charles Nadiffin uh, was one, and seeing how they just immediately took the word of God and gave instruction to people to do, to act on that word, there were immediate results and immediate manifestations. And so uh, having watched that, one particular night, there was a young lady who's best friend of my daughter. She wanted to come by the office to meet us. She had been in a car wreck two years prior, was in pain for two years. Her back was twisted. And so I'm in the office and I'm going, God, this is my time. And I had to step out. And so it was my daughter, my wife, and my, uh, her friend were there. And so I prayed for her, gave her the instruction to bend over. When she bent over and came, she was a little afraid at first because she knew there was going to be pain. When she bent over and came back up, all the pain was gone. That was my... <laughs> That was my initial, initial step of faith into miracles as a result of watching the TV program. But had you seen it a few years earlier, would you have watched it? Uh, no, no, listen, based on what has been on this program, <laughs> I would, can I really be honest with please, you? Please, please. If, if I had seen the things that were on this show going back five, ten years ago, instead of it being the glory zone, I would have thought it was the twilight zone. <laughs> I just, I just want to be honest with you. I mean, when, I, when I'm hearing about on programs people's hair growing back and people losing weight and, and all these different things happening, I was just amazed at what I saw. People losing weight and all of this and all these kind of people being translated. Man, if I had heard that five, ten years ago, I would have thought you were crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, now, listen, we, we have a Hebrew word we use for that. It's meshuggah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I would have thought uh, you was meshuggah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I didn't know you were Jewish, Alton. <laughs> I'm learning how to be the one new man. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, okay. So I go to his congregation to speak, and I tell him about my friend Tony Kemp how Tony went on to our radio archives, our television archives, all free, right on the internet, spent six, eight hours a day and came out doing the same thing, and a light bulb went off in yes, his brain. And he said, well, I am going to do that for my congregation. What did you do briefly? When we uh, met for breakfast that morning, you shared that I went home to find in the archives of Brother Kemp's story and how he did that. I began to go back and see some of the archives. When I got to about the third show, I knew then my congregation had to begin to see it. And I started showing it. But with that, the Lord laid on my heart to make out a curriculum, to make out a workbook. So each show that you had, I went down the line and pulled out about 15 points that was discussed in the program, made a question drew a line under each question where the people could watch it, go back, and do it, and then give them application in the end for, for things for them to do. And Brother Sid, as a result, when the people were watching the program, some of them got healed during the program. Some of them got healed when they prayed and applied it after the program was over with. We had one lady who was getting ready to go to surgery because she needed breast reduction. Her back had been hurting, and she was scheduled for surgery. Saw one of the programs. It was either Johnny Hunter or it could have been Ryan White. I can't quite remember which one. Saw the program, went home and prayed a quiet prayer of faith. The next morning, she noticed that her breast had begun to reduce. She, she didn't need have, surgery? She didn't have to go to surgery as a result. Now, now you Absolutely. Were, now, Absolutely. Now, Let's turn turnabout is fair play. Uh, he called me my sugar. You're my sugar, I pastor. It. I it. <laughs> All right, it. listen, we're going to be right back, <laughs> and I'm going to have Tony Kemp on, and you might you think that's outrageous. Wait till you hear the miracles happening with Tony. Absolutely. And these outrageous miracles are happening to all the people uh, taking the It's Supernatural course in his congregation, and God's not a respecter of persons. He wants that to happen Absolutely. to you, Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. 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 Right back to It's Supernatural. Honey, it's 
it's here. Look, it's here. The Supernatural Mentoring Kit is finally here. Great. Hello, this is Sid Roth. I want to mentor you in the supernatural. You see, my heart's desire is to help you walk under an open heaven where God's supernatural favor, His blessings, His health, His biblical prosperity, and His vision for your life, they'll be normal. In the months ahead, I want to help you fulfill your destiny and your purpose on earth. Call now and get this one-of-a-kind mentoring kit from Sid Roth's School of the Supernatural. Never before has any ministry offered something like this to their monthly partners. When you open the box, you're going to immediately see a special message from me, welcoming you as a monthly partner with my prayer for you to begin unlocking the door to the supernatural. You will receive this authentic Jewish mezuzah specially designed for our monthly partners. Inside are special prayers to unlock God's blessings for you and your loved ones. Also inside is a microfiche containing millions of names of unsaved Jewish families. Place the mezuzah on your doorpost or in a prominent place. Use it as a point of contact as you pray for your own needs and for the salvation of millions of unsaved Jewish families you are helping to reach with the gospel through your monthly support. You'll get this distinctive Mishpuka mug reminding everyone that you are one of Sid Roth's Mishpuka, a part of the family with a supernatural Jewish heart. Receive 35 powerful healing scripture cards so you can meditate on God's promises for you and your entire family. Open the door to the supernatural and you'll find your first monthly mentoring DVD. It includes a mentoring guide with questions to help you fully absorb the content and for you to write your personal thoughts. You'll hear teaching on subjects including healing, how to receive your breakthrough, how to work with angels, seeing into the glory realm, prophecy, and much more. You'll get a special membership key code that will allow you to access a web link, giving you exclusive access to behind the scenes mentoring seminars filmed at our International Media and Mentoring Center. Also included is your first bi-monthly newsletter and so much more. Mishpuka Gold and Halutzin members receive this special DVD, How to Walk in Revival Every Day, plus this daily prayer of cleansing and consecration. Halutzin members receive their own beautiful distinctive mug, plus this beautiful Halutzin menorah pendant and keychain. Call now or log on to SidRoth.org. Don't miss out on getting your own mentoring kit from Sid Roth School of the Supernatural. You can get this incredible kit with your first gift of only $25 plus $25 shipping and handling. If you sign up using our Angel Express, we'll waive the $25 shipping fee. Call or you can send your check for $50 to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number P9013N call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. <laughs> Hello, Sid Roth here with Tony Kim. Tony is a friend. He's a board member. Uh, he's a graduate of School of Theology. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's a man that was in ministry for something like 26 years years. How many miracles did you see in that 26 years? I saw maybe 10 healings in that entire time, Sid. In fact, uh, I gave up praying for people that were sick because nothing happened. You're very pragmatic, practical. That's, that's, that's exactly the truth. Okay, so he gets so frustrated, uh, he accidentally, <laughs> in quotes, finds it's supernatural. What happened? Well, I began to study the program and listen to the words of God, the keys, the revelations that were coming through you and through the guests, and I began to learn how to move in the supernatural. And this is what I want to say, Sid. Anyone who knows Jesus and loves Jesus and pursues Jesus can move in the supernatural. So you spend... Uh, six to eight hours a day on our TV show, uh, on, on the archives of, uh, uh, of our radio, all these archives, all of this time, and you come out actually believing that God's not a respecter of persons, actually believing what God does for any of our guests, He would do for you, and there were a bunch of deaf people at this first meeting. Tell me about it. Well. I, I, have ne I had never seen the deaf healed up until that moment. You see, Sid, when I watched the program, there were several things that I saw. Number one, I saw that somebody cried out to God. 
Number two, I saw that somebody heard God. Number three, I saw that somebody obeyed God and then the miracles happened. So I decided to take a risk and faith is spelled R-I-S-K. And I thought if it worked for these other people at your cast, maybe it might work for me. And so I just stepped out by faith. I prayed for each deaf person. There were seven of them and every single one of them have heard. Did you hear that? Seven deaf people and every single person heard. Well, I got a report of pages of just the, your last three meetings. These must have been unusual. There were so many people healed. D tell me some of the things that people are healed of in your meetings. Oh my, we see the deaf here, the blind see, people get up out of wheelchairs and walk, there are dental miracles, teeth are removed, so they don't have to go to the teeth. People, people grow teeth, people get gold fillings, silver fillings, regular fillings, cancers healed, sugar diabetes, diabetes is healed, supernatural weight loss, we even have persons who have metal or plastic or titanium in their body where it disappears and, and pain is gone. And we have cases where even the doctor couldn't find the metal. Now, does this type of thing happen just at the last few meetings or every meeting? Oh, these kinds of things happen all the time, Sid. I mean, all the time. It is uh, a how, regular... How, how about he went to heaven and he met some angels uh, that may be here Right now, when we come back, I want to hear about his visit to heaven. How about you? We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Many viewers report testimonies of miracles, signs and wonders, and healings as a result of watching It's Supernatural. I'm 14 years old. This morning, I watched It's Supernatural about angels and warmth poured on me. It made me cry. God healed me of stage four inoperable cancer. It is a real blessing to have It's Supernatural to watch each week. If you've been touched through watching It's Supernatural, share your testimony at sidroth.org forward slash praise. We now return to It's Supernatural. My guest went to heaven. Tony Kemp, tell me about that. Well, among other things, I met with two angels that God assigned to me. One angel was the angel that would give me revelation by the Holy Spirit, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, and prophecy. And the other angel would stand beside me and help me minister to the people in certain gifts of the Spirit, gifts of healings, working of miracles, and the gift of faith. And whenever I'm going to minister in those specific areas, those angels come to assist me. Now, do you know if any, either of those two angels are here now? Yes, the angel of revelation is here now. And then when we get to the part where it comes to minister healing, the angel of healing will come in. I know, but I just wanted you to know. I wanted you to know yeah. those angels are here right now. So uh, tell me about this person uh, that had a glass gray eye. Now, you want, this, this will be, a, I'm going to stretch you right now. Uh, I was in uh, Missouri. I was doing a minister's meeting. A woman comes up. She has a glass eye this gray. Her real eye is blue. What are we praying And when she comes about? up to me for prayer, I say to her, said, oh, you're blind. And she rebukes me. She says, no, I'm not blind. I just can't see. <laughs> and when she says that to me, said, I knew then that she believed something was going to happen. When we prayed with her, said, her glass eye becomes a real eye in her socket. It turns blue like the other eye as she sees out of it perfectly. Uh, that, if that doesn't blow you out of the water, I don't know what will. What did you, what was going on inside of you when that happened? Pure joy, pure joy. <laughs> Because I, I remember uh, the, ex the heavenly experience I had of the body parts room and seeing the body parts. And that was one of those cases where the body part, the angel of the Lord that does miracles, goes, gets the body part, brings it, put it, puts it in the person's body, and it becomes physical in that person's body. Tell me about people that have metal in their body and it turns to bone. I'm, I'm telling you, this is called stretch night. <laughs> it's supernatural. I was in uh, Detroit, Michigan. I was at a Baptist church. 
a man there in his 50s that had a knee replacement and uh, he had pain in his knee. When he walked through uh, any place that had security, the metal in his knee would set off the alarm, the I, metal detector. I know I've got an artificial hip. I, it takes me a lot of time through airport security. So he comes up for prayer. He's in pain. God touches him. His pain disappears. And he actually starts hitting his knee, which he couldn't do before. He drops to his knees. He crawls on his knees. He's happy because now he says, now I can put my grandchildren on my back. Well, the next time he goes through security, the metal detector does not go off. I, I'm waiting for that day for me. Uh, now, if I, now, I'm going to believe that day is today is the day of salvation. How about you? You believe. Today is the day of your healing. Okay, uh, you, you met uh, Rennie McLean, you told me, yes. and he prayed for you to lose weight, yes. and you dropped uh, how many pounds? About 45, 50 pounds. Okay, and then a ever since he did that, you pray for people. How many people lose weight at the, the most that you know that lost weight in one meeting? I was in Syracuse, New York, and uh, 27 people experienced supernatural weight loss, and... Uh, We've seen people, um, I usually give this instruction, Sid. I say, listen, repent of the way you've been eating. Do the best you can. Eat right. And when you do what's right in the natural, God will do the supernatural. I mean, we have seen people lose, oh, my goodness. We had a case, uh, cases. A person would come up, and their stomach would be out here, and it would literally shrink on the spot. Other people would lose two or three dress sizes, and then every day they would lose weight. We had a case in New York. A woman had COPD. She's in a wheelchair. She's in pain. She has kidney failure. She's gained 80-something pounds. God heals her of her COPD. Her breathing becomes normal. And then in 28 days, said she loses 80 pounds, gets up out of the wheelchair, and becomes completely healthy. This is a man that only had 10 miracles in all of those years. He watches it supernatural, and this is normal. What is normal for him is going to be normal for you. Tony, pray for people right now. People are going to, uh, I, I even hear someone's spine has just been restored in Jesus' name, and someone's whole back is restored. Go, go ahead. The Father is ministering to you right now. There's someone right now, you're a woman, you have a kidney disease, you're being healed right now in the name of Jesus the Messiah. There's someone else watching me right now, you have terrible migraine headaches. You're being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Someone else, you are deaf in your right ear. That ear is popping open and you're being healed right now. Someone else, you have ringing in the ears and now it's coming to silence. There is one other person, you have a problem with your knee and that knee is being healed, that pain is disappearing and you're healed in the mighty name of Jesus the Messiah. My heart's desire is that you would be normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. That means you can do, and because this is what our master said, the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus, you can do the same works that I have done and even greater. As he is, so are we on this earth I believe as we go out, if you pray for supernatural weight loss at this moment and dental miracles, those two things, people are going to receive it. I want you to bow your head right where you are. In the name of Jesus, Father, let angels go forth. And Father, let angels touch people. Let them get dental miracles. Lord, those that don't have the money, let teeth that need to be removed be supernaturally removed. Let people who need fillings, let them have silver fillings, regular fillings, and gold fillings. And Lord, those that need to grow teeth, I command you to grow teeth by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray for supernatural weight loss. Right now, begin losing weight in the mighty name of Jesus for the Father's glory. I can tell you this, <laughs> the angel is here and all things, are, uh, sinuses, you can breathe clearly in Jesus' name, all things are possible. <laughs>
Look, it's here. The Supernatural Mentoring Kit is finally here. Great. Hello, this is Sid Roth. I want to mentor you in the supernatural. You see, my heart's desire is to help you walk under an open heaven where God's supernatural favor, His blessings, His health, His biblical prosperity, and His vision for your life, they'll be normal. In the months ahead, I want to help you fulfill your destiny and your purpose on earth. Call now and get this one-of-a-kind mentoring kit from Sid Roth's School of the Supernatural. Never before has any ministry offered something like this to their monthly partners. When you open the box, you're going to immediately see a special message from me, welcoming you as a monthly partner with my prayer for you to begin unlocking the door to the supernatural. You will receive this authentic Jewish mezuzah specially designed for our monthly partners. Inside are special prayers to unlock God's blessings for you and your loved ones. Also inside is a microfiche containing millions of names of unsaved Jewish families. Place the mezuzah on your doorpost or in a prominent place. Use it as a point of contact as you pray for your own needs and for the salvation of millions of unsaved Jewish families you are helping to reach with the gospel through your monthly support. You'll get this distinctive Mishpuka mug reminding everyone that you are one of Sid Roth's Mishpuka, a part of the family with a supernatural Jewish heart. Receive 35 powerful healing scripture cards so you can meditate on God's promises for you and your entire family. Open the door to the supernatural and you'll find your first monthly mentoring DVD. It includes a mentoring guide with questions to help you fully absorb the content and for you to write your personal thoughts. You'll hear teaching on subjects including healing, how to receive your breakthrough, how to work with angels, seeing into the glory realm, prophecy, and much more. You'll get a special membership key code that will allow you to access a web link, giving you exclusive access to behind the scenes mentoring seminars filmed at our International Media and Mentoring Center. Also included is your first bi-monthly newsletter and so much more. Mishpuka Gold and Halutzin members receive this special DVD, How to Walk in Revival Every Day, plus this daily prayer of cleansing and consecration. Halutzin members receive their own beautiful distinctive mug, plus this beautiful Halutzin menorah pendant and keychain. Call now or log on to SidRoth.org. Don't miss out on getting your own mentoring kit from Sid Roth School of the Supernatural. You can get this incredible kit with your first gift of only $25 plus $25 shipping and handling. If you sign up using our Angel Express, we'll waive the $25 shipping fee. Call or you can send your check for $50 to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number P9013N call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. As I travel throughout this world, I find something that is disturbing to me. It, it's shocking to me. Christians are as sick as non-Christians. It should not be. That's right. God has almost like a marriage between the natural and the supernatural. My guest was called by God to make you, to make me, the healthiest people on earth.